Yes, hello friends. Uh, hello from Budapest. We had this weekend a seminar and we had a world premiere of a global sailing communication experiment that I showed and that I will show right after this. But maybe some of you don't know global sailing. It's a um, an uh, institute founded by Hartmut Müller. Uh, he f he names it global scaling. I cannot use this because this is a, a trademark by him, so I call it Global Sailing. Global Sailing is the idea of transmitting information without any electromagnetic carrier, just with the vacuum field. Um, and he's doing since several years, once in a while, a demonstration to a audience where he shows that can be done already with his technology and I want to just give you an introduction by showing you a few uh, parts of his uh, demo here in German. I will tr translate it also in, uh, in English on the go. Ich habe jetzt hier eine Liste von 15 Kandidaten, die ihren Laptop haben registrieren lassen. So, Frau Hopp wird einfach ziehen. Ja, ja gut. So, der Gewinner ist. Wen haben wir denn? So, here they uh, let somebody draw from a list of people who have brought their computer uh, to this demonstration and who are, they say, are not, of course, prepared for this demonstration. So, it should show the objective nature of this experiment that it can be done with any kind of computer. Uh, that is being provided. Okay, and um, now we can see here the um, this person coming in. Okay, let's let her talk. Das Verfahren funktioniert in etwa so dass ähm, an einem Ort X wird äh, ein Rauschsignal ähm, zum Beispiel eines Rauschgenerators So the um, principle is about like uh like um, like um, like the following at a place x a um, random number generator or not really a random number but a noise generator it could be a random number generator is started im computer zum beispiel wird dieses rauschen nach Euler analysiert. In a computer, for example, this noise is being evaluated. Die harmonischen Komponenten werden herausgefiltert. Dann wird nach verschränkten Zuständen gesucht. Und so then the it is searching for the harmonic components in this noise and the entangled states are being selected. Wenn zwei Zustände gefunden wurden, die verschränkt sind, dann wird einer davon markiert und da diese verschränkten Zustände im, Uni um, im Universum überall wiederfindbar sind, wird dann am anderen Ort nach diesem markierten verschränkten Zustand. And one of those entangled states is being marked and 
because everywhere in the universe these entangled states are present, we can find this entangled state at any place in the universe. Gesucht. Im Experiment funktioniert das auch wirklich. So, das ist was für ein Rechner, wissen Sie das? Das ist Windows 2000. Windows 2000. Herr Müller, vielleicht mal kurz noch mal erklären, was genau passiert. Für diese Übertragung muss lediglich ein Treiber installiert werden. Dieser Treiber ähm, spricht direkt die Hardware an des Computers, also ohne Benutzeroberfläche und ohne Windows und ohne diese ganzen Sachen. So, to make this possible, only a driver has to be installed and this driver is directly talking to the computer so without Windows and any other software. Ich muss folgendes gemacht werden und zwar okay. diese Diskette da, das ist halt auch eine Software, aber eine ganz ganz klitzekleine und diese Diskette, die muss halt ins Diskettenlaufwerk. So what has to be done is this software that's really a very 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 small one has to be installed and it's on a floppy disk und jetzt muss uh, neu gestartet werden einfach neu starten ja. ja so okay das programm ist and now it has to be restarted so dear hartmut i'm really happy that this person who has been selected randomly by just drawing a number <laughs> came with a computer with a floppy disk drive in 2011. I guess this must be an amazing entangled state that the person which has been drawn has in 2011 a computer with a floppy drive because this is the, the way you had prepared the software. I mean, this is really amazing. Also, imagine what kind of entangled state it needs that in 2011 somebody who is randomly selected has a computer that just provides the floppy disk that your software is on. Amazing, amazing. Gestartet. Haben wir den ganzen Kabelsalat genau. raus. Ja. Dass man auch sieht, dass der Computer auch frei steht. Das so, they now make a very objective preparation. They take out all the cables to show the big audience that there are no gimmicks, there are not any hidden cables. And imagine, in 2011 they show an audience that there is no communication between the two computers by taking out all the wires. Imagine, in a time where everything goes by Bluetooth and Internet, <laughs> they think they can, and probably they do, impose on their audience a sense of awe and wonder how those two computers are completely isolated by not being connected by any cable. And now still you will see Wonder over wonder, there can be synchronized by this amazing, amazing new technology. Also, der Computer hier nicht verkabelt ist. Was werden Sie auf dem Bildschirm sehen? Sie werden sehen Rauschwerte. Und zwar in Form. So, to make this a little shorter now, first they show that if you press Uh, a random number generator on one computer and then on the other one you get different numbers. Hmm, this is very interesting. So, but then once they do the following Mm 
Now let's see. Ohne Auslesen von Rauschwerten ist die Voraussetzung dafür, dass die Histogramme die identische Feinstruktur haben, um ein Bit übertragen zu können. So, let's look at this again, the, the pose of Mr. Hartmut Müller. Look at his finger. Let's look at his finger and what he's saying here in order to synchronize the computers, you see his fingertips, you have to press both computer buttons at the same time. Only when you do this, the fine structure of the uh, vacuum field can be synchronized and then you will see with this amazing new global scaling technology that both both computers are synchronized. But watch his fingers. Ohne Auslesen von Rauschwerten ist die Voraussetzung dafür, dass die Histogramme die identische Feinstruktur haben, um so it's very important, he points this out several times, that two people at his commando, two, three, one, zero, press the buttons at the same time. Only then those random number generators, of course, can be synchronized. Hmm, this is very interesting. Now look at this. So now, Watch this. He is giving the commando to synchronize those computers. Transfrequenz von 2032 Hertz wird verwendet. Wir synchronisieren so, über Kanal 2. 3, 2, 1, 1 0. And yes. look at this. Yes. It's synchronized. Also, und Meier, haben wir synchronized. Wir gucken, ob die Zahlen stimmen. Also Sie überprüfen und sagen, meine Zahl, die stimmt. Oder alle, oder wie auch immer. And now they have an objective expert who finds that really those numbers are synchronized. Now, is this amazing? It's amazing. It's amazing. And this all in front of a big audience of doctors and professors. And <laughs> okay. And but we we want to to not skip the last part. Of course, that's the most important part. Thank you. Applaus. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. The world will never be the same. So, it's amazing. Two random number generators in two different computers that are not connected by a wire can be synchronized if you press the start button exactly at the same time. I mean, this was for me really something that I think we have to look deeper into it. And I know he says it also, he reveals the whole secret. It's, uh, it's the Euler, um, equation that he uses. And, uh, we looked a little bit deeper and we found that the, uh, third deviation of this Euler transformation, if sampled, with a very high sampling rate and then evaluated with statistical means like everything else in the core system we can even do an even better job and then my second question was what how can we use it how can we make it useful just having numbers synchronized is not so interesting so now we made a software edition module that will be available for every one of you from next week on. It's from the build, uh, the build 412 and upwards. If you go to the method field and then look and click on global scaling and you click on this, the system finds entangled states and finds the number that represents this entangled state and uses this number to select from a text that is freely given by you the word that is most entangled in this moment and shows it on the screen and so 
this will be a new way to analyze documents, maybe messages from friends or people you don't like or love letters, to search for the words that are entangled right now and that can be synchronized with anybody on the planet so you see their objective nature. So thank you Hartmut, thank you for the inspiration and uh, I think everyone in the world of our core users will be happy to use the new global sailing system without a floppy disk, <laughs> without uh, any preparation of the system, without any special drivers and just by a download of the latest version free of charge, it's an update, it's free of charge, a little addition, a little for me <laughs> relatively unimportant addition, but for some people they might find it very interesting and very useful. So thank you and uh, good luck to all those who follow the global sailing since many years.